What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Um, it's Daya here, and today we're gonna be doing a drawing tutorial. I know I was doing like the contemporary, not contemporary, whoa, the color um theory thing, right? Uh, but the thing is, I want to try and see if this is gonna be more successful on the channel, or if it'll be more helpful to those, because it doesn't seem like many people are like looking for color explanations right now. But anyway. Um, today I'm going to be doing what I do on my TikTok, which is like drawing tutorials, so I'm going to draw this eye, right? But the thing that's different about this video is I'm actually going to be drawing the opposite eye, right? Which, um, you know, a lot of people <laughs> don't practice the other eye. I'm people. Um, anyway, so we're going to draw the other eye. This, this eye type is, this is a round eye. It's like an almond-shaped eye, except for it's just like wider and more you know, this is a doe-eyed look. But anyway, I'm gonna try to replicate it on the other side. So let's do that. Okay, so I just drew the eye shape and um, you know, I'll go through how I did that in, in a second, but I just wanna take notice of how freaking far apart the eyes were. Like I did not plan this very well. Um, like if I, if a, they say a nose was here. Yeah, that's, they still pretty, these are some wide set eyes now, okay? Um, it wasn't the intention, but that's what happened. Um, anyway, so as far as me drawing this shape here, um, I took note of how the other eye looked, right? So um, the corner of this eye is on this line, right? That's why I drew this line. This is where the top of the eye is, is this line. And this is where the bottom of this eye is, in this line. This is not including the lashes. It's around that general area. Like, I can clearly see that that line, if it went through, would not touch the top of this right here. But, um... I just have to take note of that and then kind of lower this area here. But all it is, is like a football shape with a little like curve on the end. But um, so I just, I drew the bottom half first, taking note that this, the tear duct was below this line. And so I just drew here, came down to about here because this eye again is not touching this line that would go through this, um, if like if it went through the picture because I didn't want it to go through so it wouldn't mess up my shading and stuff. But even if it did go through, I know it wouldn't be touching this line right here. So I did the same on this side. Then um it comes up like this. So I did but I started like this. I went up and now I realize that it's not touching the line, so I have to lower it. But um now I just fix that line and you can see you can see what I mean by like football shape but like right when you're about to get to the point of the football just go out like this and yeah so now I'm gonna draw the water duct I mean the tear duct and the water line and all that stuff and I'll show you in a second all right so now I'm going to draw the iris which is like a circle within the eye you know and um, I'm making sure not to let it touch the bottom of the eye to again give it that doe eyed effect, you know, and make the eye look like it's open wider. Because let's see your iris is visible when your eye is like closed smaller, you know. Now I'm going to draw the pupil, which I want the pupil to be large again to kind of give the eye that innocent look. And then I'm going to add this right here. This right here is going to stay white. This is where the light reflects off of the eye right here. So you see in the other eye. That that's this circle right here. So yeah, now I'm going to draw the crease of the eye, which is just like a little, little arc right here. Taking note to make it as even to the other one as possible. So I need to take it down some. This line is really helping me. Ideally, you're supposed to draw both of the eyes at the same time. So you're supposed to draw one eye and whatever feature you add on one eye, you add to the other, and then you end up with the, the same result on both sides, but I don't do that. <laughs> so um, I'm making it more difficult for myself in the long run. So definitely if you can um, draw both eyes like simultaneously, you know, but um, if you don't, here's your way of doing it. It's just a whole, it's like a measurement system I have here to keep them proportionally, you know, the same. And so now I'm going to draw like the under eye bag or wrinkle or whatever you want to call this. Draw this line up here. And yeah, that pretty much have the basic shape of this eye now, of the other eye. Okay, so I cleaned up my lines. And now you can see that they're starting to look really similar. 
almost identical in fact but then there's other details i have to add so i'm not gonna add the eyelashes first i'm actually going to shade the eye first and then add the eyelashes on top so that they're more vibrant or not vibrant prominent that's the word okay so let's get a little closer and i'll show you how i shaded the iris so i know this is probably not a conventional method but this is how I went about shading the eye to make it look the way it did. So, like, you see how on the outside it's darker. I know there's a reflection. But on the outside of the iris, it is darker. And on the inside right here, it's lighter. And it gets darker again around the pupil. Well, this is what I did <laughs> to achieve that. You know, so. Also, I think, though, I know this is, like, extra... But I think it should be darker around the top of the eye. So I'm going to do that here as well. I'm sorry it's reflective. Um, I don't have, I don't know where my other pencils are. And this is only a 2H pencil. Which means that it's like, um, it's pretty light. Based off of like, value, you know. And if I had like an AB, I would be able to make this like almost black without like any shine at all, you know. So I would definitely recommend different kinds of pencils for this instead of just one. But you can definitely make it work with just one. So. Alright, you see that? Now I'm going to leave that alone for now and start shading the top inside of the eye around where the eyelid is. To, um, you know, imply that there's an eyelid right there. I'm going to shade this a little bit. So the waterline and the tear duct. Um, I already kind of got some shading going on here. A little bit here. And I'm just lightly using my pencil to do this. Excuse me. Okay. So that's pretty much it as far as shading. So I'm now going to blend it together. Okay, so I'm using a blending stump to do this. And you can see that mine's like jacked up i don't have like sandpaper to make this not like it's not supposed to look like this just keep that in mind so i use one side and by the way i really don't know how to use this thing i'm just doing what i think looks good in the end um what i'm trying to teach you how to do is draw the eye so i mission accomplished on that this is just extra at this point so um i use one side of the stump for like darker shades, you know, that I want to blend together and the other side for the lighter ones. So I'm doing the darker ones right now that I want to keep dark. And now I'm going to blend the inside with the lighter side. Can you see how there's like a, there's a difference in value here. I'm going to shade this as well. Kind of fade it out. By going lighter using the stump lightly when I get towards the outside of the area I want to be shadowed or shaded I guess then I'm going to take the lighter side and do the wa uh, waterline and tear duct the underside of the eye all right gonna fade that out some there we go, that's better. It's a little close to eye. I think I might erase some, but I'm going to fade this out first at the top. Okay, this is definitely calling for the darker side. Okay. Now we get that faded out. I'm going to adjust the underside of the eye again. Because there's clearly room under this one right here. So I'm just going to try and make them identical. Okay. And now to blend it out. I'm literally just using this thing like a pencil. And I don't know if that's correct. But it's working. So now it's time for the eyelashes. Which is going to be a little harder since I'm doing the opposite. I usually do them this way. Now I got to do them this way, so let's see how that goes. It's just a bunch of um, lines like this that 
make triangles sometimes. I like doing eyelashes and triangles better, actually. Because it just seems to give the eyelashes more volume that way. Okay. I'm going to do some on the other side. And they get longer as they reach the corner of the eye. And so then we get to this point right here. And so I'm going to make a curve upwards like this. Okay. Then I'm going to make these two eyelashes go upwards to show that they belong to the upper eyelid and they're kind of going like this from the eye. There's, it's telling you that there's rooting from right here. So now I'm just going to fill those in a bit. I'm going to show you how to do the bottom ones as well. Those are just the same process, just a tad bit smaller in the smaller triangles. That's all it is, uh, or lines, depending on how you want to do it. And it looks like I did them all the way like that. Okay, so now I'm going to color in the eyelashes. All right, so now that I've colored in the eyelashes, it's time for the finishing touches. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eraser. It's just like a tiny, a small tipped eraser so that I can erase the lines around that white spot to make it truly look like it's a reflection of light. So that's detail number one. Number two is that you see there are lines in here that I added afterward. So I'm going to add those back in. Just let's do it like this actually first. I'm going to put smaller ones in between. Just add some extra detail in. Ah, it's not as random as I wanted it to be, but you just add straight lines as well as short ones in a, as random as you can to make it look natural. Now I'm going to add a little definition here for the water, for the tear duct, because, you know, I got one over here. I think the tear duct is larger in scale than the other one, which is easily fixable. So there goes that. Now they're about the same size. Um, I do believe there's nothing else I need to add. Let me look. Compare. Well, no. Okay, so these are done. Um, I do believe that one eye is lighter than the other. Again, easily fixable. Just add some definition back here. Make this darker. And they're already looking more similar. You just shade to your heart's content. Um, I do realize that this eye is a bit bigger. And like I said before, if you draw them simultaneously, you will not have this problem. Anyway, um, so these are easily fixable problems. Like I can see like here, there's more space here than there is between here. And so I would just move things accordingly, but we do not have time for that. You have successfully learned how to draw a round eye. So I hope this was helpful. If it was like and subscribe and i'll have more videos like this so stay tuned see you later bye